What is up guys, Sweets of the Boat here, YouTube channel about fixing, driving, and enjoying a boat. Today I'm going to talk about my canvas that I made by myself. <laughs> it's super nice. So we're going to start with the aft part of the canvas, and then we're going to move up and forward. We're going to do the bimini, we're going to do the front curtains, and at the end also I will tell you a little bit about my experiences, because I had it for one season. So check that out, like, subscribe, comment. What we're doing is just jumping right into the action. Let's get into it. Should have, should have actually have got into it like a long time ago. Shouldn't talk, let's talk, let's don't stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Alright, I'm just some markings to know where, more or less where uh, I need to put that extra crease and uh, seams on it. So now I'm gonna start uh, doing uh, the theme here and I'm gonna show you that. What I got here is uh, a side curtain for the uh, port side. And I'm gonna fold this, this dotted line here. So I'm gonna fold that, make those creases, snaps on the inside, goes out on the outside here, and then it takes it a step out because of the gangway and then it goes back and has these uh, multiple folds. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I have my line here, I'm going to fold again, that one, I've got my uh, fasteners here and we we'll come here to the uh, corner where I have those two uh, lines. So I take that line, get a little crease here, uh, so I've got a straight line here turn up to my line there and then coming to the third line and creates a crease there. So put some pressure here have those lines and tape them up. Looks pretty good. Got the faster markings within my limits here and uh, tape this down a little bit more. zipper I'm going to use. This was 14 about, 14, 7 in the middle, minus 1 centimeters, minus 1 centimeters, 6 centimeters. There. This is not, not building a spaceship. Okay, so I've been uh, doing some sewing, finalized that aft part. I haven't done anything to the sides on the in the back, but I have enough things so that I can go down and do my measurements. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna set it up, see uh, the gaps, and take notes of what we need to change if we need to change anything. That was fun doing those buttons, but the problem is with the tool just breaks, gets stuck in the buttons when I hit it. I need to go to the store, see if I can find uh, a new tool. 
So no tool to, uh, unfortunately, so you just have to rethink this, uh, perhaps fabricate a tool. This tool is really bad. So what I did, placed uh, this one with this one, this one as a homemade tool. Put it on there, get it started. Bolt. Without the original tool. It's an opposite chair with these buttons are more inwards of the boat and these are on the out, outer side of the boat. Can you use that? Right guys, we're done with that. So let's head back to the house and uh, finalize those pieces. out pretty good a little bulky thing here it's nice and tight same on the other side Got two options here. One is with a three, three bar bimini or shorten the bimini, get another angle on the front, get better bimini, I can stand in front of the bimini, and I don't think the front will disturb me that much. So I um, need to decide here what I'm gonna do. Let's, let's check this picture. So if I shorten that to about there, that'd be strange. And also, check this out. get an angle for you guys here that would be the uh the bimini would end here there would be an opening here from the window so you open that up probably walk out easier this one was like hitting my head i'd stand like this when i drove it's not really comfortable got that almost vertical piece here i think i'm gonna delete that this will be the slope of the canvas and the front part the front part now when I walk down here, it works pretty good. Stand up and drive. Then it will be from this bar back to the radome. Stand and drive, enjoy the wind. Instead of having this one like here, not have to stand up I need to lean in front of it. I'm gonna go with this shorter bimini, get that slope so when you sit down. And the bimini go here, or the front part will go here. Also, when I walk from the helm, I'm gonna go down. I don't hit anything, I just walk down under the bimini. Walk forward, get up, sit down. When it's raining, of course, I will have that slope. Let's move this slope. I'll be driving. Stand up. Just slide out here. Also have this opening. Can stick my head out. Good visibility. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, super cozy. This will be the bimini here. Going on to this bar. Going on to this one. Fold it. Make zipper. Front part with window in it.
what we'll do now is to take this back and compare it with the old one, outline all the fasteners and then start working. But now I have the dimensions more or less, I'm gonna have some extra fabric and then I'm gonna take from there. Hey guys, another thing I need to do is to take measurements from here, from the fasteners up here, over to this one, the framing, and then also over to the second one and the most uh, forward one I'm gonna use. to fix that corner over there because it creates creases up here up there when I pull because that's not secured enough that side is much better and it behaves a lot better here it doesn't create any wavy this is a little bit wavy and that's due to it's not secured properly down here so small adjustment but I'm overall happy and also there are two ends to uh, zipper one starting point and one end point. The end point is where you get that little thing you pull on, and I don't want that here when I'm driving, having that noise. So I'm gonna put that over to the port side and have the starting point here above me when I'm driving. To put a zipper somewhere, I'm gonna put it at probably like an inch and a half over here, all the way down here. And the same in front here. Put the zipper flush to this uh, edge here. And that will have the teeth front here. Come down there. Make a line here. And uh, to attach the front part that will go down to the window. And more or less follow that line there. And then the side panels will go from uh, radar arc to that line more or less. But uh, and also have a little lip here when it covers that zipper. So when you're driving and have rain coming from the front, don't hopefully it won't go up there and penetrate the zipper and start. Yeah, it will leak down on me when I'm driving. All droplets, so uh, need to find a way for that. No, so I don't want it too big. The other one was a little bit too big, so when you drove, especially in headwind, do it like that, and it was so annoying. Mm, it's so warm. All right, guys, what's new here is uh, zippers here that connect the uh, curtains. It's going to be on the side and in the front here. I got a curtain one here. Gonna detach the front part, port side, and the starboard side.
Alright, I did uh, some adjustments to this one. It was a bit bad back here at the uh, end there. It wasn't really due to the zipper wasn't lined properly, so I redid that and now it looks a lot better. And it's within uh, my what I accept in terms of quality. This other side, I've done this panel here parallel to uh, the window. This is going to be cut off. I can start uh, doing fasteners here and measure out that piece is going to be back there. And just continue and uh, finalize this project. to outline that half part start outlining the lower part on the port side so got nice weather here so it's, uh, it's all cool Gonna show you what I've learned, show you the flaws, and show you what I should have thought about before I started this project. All right, so making your own canvas, it was pretty fun. I spent about $1,000 on material, including the sewing machine and all the windows and canvas and zippers and everything. Uh, might have saved me perhaps $3,000, $4,000 on that. Um, but doing it yourself is, you know, you cut corners. I spent like 40, 50 hours uh, doing this canvas, but of course that will, uh, I mean, you make mistakes and uh, I'm going to show you some of the mistakes so that you can learn from this and perhaps if you want to do your own canvas, uh, have that in mind uh, when you start doing it, okay? So one thing that happens is that uh, these buttons, if you don't do it correctly, will uh, fall out from the fabric. This is another one where the button has actually come apart, so I can't use that one. Another thing over here is when the uh, fastener just comes out of the boat. This has happened in many places here. On the outside down here. It's also just come out, come out from the boat. Uh, this is the first piece I did. My first piece here. Um, what happened here was yeah, some of the stitching is not that good um, due to how I used the machine I got a zipper that's coming off it's coming apart more and more uh, like that uh, it's not a line down here I'll look at that later um, also with the buttons why this happens is that why this happens and also why they uh, come apart uh, is due to that uh, I didn't replace the old ones here good shot of that so not replacing these when you're placing these is that they get really stuck both both ways it's hard to get it on it's hard to get it off because of the uh, oxidization on them. And what I did over here was I did new ones. And they are so much easier to fasten and, unf and unfasten. They are new. Makes it a lot easier. 
So, uh, that's a tip, you know, just to replace all the fasteners on the boat when you're replacing the fasteners in the fabric or in the canvas. That would help tremendously to keep the canvas in shape and to be able to close it if you, as you want to close it. So that's one lesson. The other one is that I started here, moved my way around, then I continued with the sides. And mapped out the front. No, I did the, I think I did Bimini first. All these channels. I'm pretty happy with these channels here. They went pretty well. Up here. Uh, zippers, really no problem, no issues. It's pre pretty good here. Quite happy with that, how the zippers came. Uh, these channels. But, uh, and alignment is pretty good in the front. It's up back here in the back that, uh, got some major alignment issues. First of all, another one, come off, let's come off. And have one there. The side piece is pretty good, but there's no alignment in the pieces here. That's something I need to take care of. Another one here that I didn't create. And also on this side, <laughs> didn't get the alignment correct here. Yeah, so I got those alignment issues and that's with the, the parts I began with. The parts I did later on on the project become uh, was a lot better alignment and so on. This front piece I'm really happy with. How it bends, follows the window. Looks pretty good. It's uh, integrated with the new door I created. I uh, got some uh, thread coming off because I didn't use the side stitching there. But overall, I'm happy. It does the job. Keeps the water out. You can drive with it. I've been up and driving like 30 knots. Hasn't been any problems. Um, but there are alignment issues and a lot of buttons or fasteners have come off uh, due to uh, that they get stuck because they're old. So I uh, should work more with alignment, uh, more with stitching. Uh, but it was the first time I did my own canvas. Uh, I'm gonna adjust everything during the winter now get it good and do some adjustments do some repairs and start uh, start replacing a lot of these fasteners to get that better uh, so I can be happy with that so uh, overall super happy with the uh, canvas actually but some things that uh, I wish I knew before I started um, that would have saved me some some work right now because some of these don't even and it's super hard to get on there. Just won't. There we go. This one is broken. So, uh... alright, guys. That's my uh, lessons for uh, creating your or making your own canvas. Uh, things to consider. Uh, I think it's absolutely uh, worth doing it by yourself. But um, it's always when you do something by yourself that you need to uh, redo it, and that's I guess that's in the in the project in the calculations. It won't be perfect the first time. So you learn, you adjust, you improve, you get better and better. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like this video about my canvas and what I've learned. This was only after one season with my canvas, uh, all the issues I've had so far. I uh, hope you like that. Uh, please subscribe, hit that notification so you don't miss out on future videos. I'll see you in the next one.